Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 14. That is, what are web applications? Let me answer. All the applications that run on browsers are nothing but the web applications. It can be Chrome browser, it can be Firefox, Opera, Safari, or Edge browser. Whatever the browser type is, if an application is running on the browser, that application is nothing but the web application. For example, guys, for example, let me open one browser. Let's say Chrome browser. In this Chrome browser, I am running an application. Let's Amazon.com is the application. So I'm I'm running this application where guys in the browser, one of the browsers like Chrome. Okay, you can even run the same Amazon.com in Firefox and Opera and all those stuff. Okay, any application that runs on the browser is nothing but the web application, guys. Here Amazon.com is a web application because it is running on the browser. It's not running directly on your operating system. You see. For example, if you see this paint paint software, this is not running on the browser, right? It's running on your operating system. For example, this uh, uh, whatever, whatever, what else like Evernote software or whatever it is. This software is also running on your operating system, not running on the browser, but this Amazon.com is running in your browser. That's why Amazon.com is a web application. Any application that runs on the browser is nothing but a web application there are other examples for the web application apart from amazon we have facebook guys you see facebook also the same thing any application that runs on the browser if someone asks you what exactly the type of the application is facebook.com you have to say that it is a web application because it's running on the browser then wikipedia.org flipkart.in and many other websites guys okay these are all web applications guys these are all the examples of the web applications because the applications that run on the browsers are nothing but the web applications and all these applications actually run on the browser only. Fine. So in in real time guys, what happens is uh, these web applications. OK, you are accessing in your browsers, but where exactly the code, the developed code of these web applications is available. OK, you're accessing this applications in your browser. That's fine. For example, here you're accessing this Amazon.com in your laptop in one of the browser you're able to access, but where exactly the developed code of this application is it same in your laptop no right the developed code of this particular web applications is hosted somewhere on the servers okay this amazon amazon application developed code okay the amazon application developed code is actually on the amazon servers facebook application facebook.com application developed code is on the facebook servers somewhere remotely okay so how then how our browser is able to access this application in our machine where the code is uh, developed and hosted on some other server somewhere remotely that is possible with the help of uh, internet communication guys via internet this browser is okay when you hit the url here a request is being sent to the server over the internet to the okay a request is being sent over the internet to that particular server which is host uh, which has a hosted code of this amazon somewhere remote okay so that server is processing your request and then sending the response back to your browser okay sending the response back back from that remote server to your machine where the browser is opened in your laptop over internet guys okay so let me explain this more in more detail guys so that you can understand this is very important so for example i'll take this uh, website of mine that is qfox.com okay as you already know uh, i i i have this qfox.com website okay as you already know i have this qfox.com website i hosted this website and all those stuff okay so not only me guys anyone can access this qfox.com because uh, okay not only me uh, anyone can access this qfox.com from your machine. So what happens? I'll explain. Okay, so here if you see guys Let's say this is my laptop or your laptop. Okay, so I'm just calling this laptop from where you are So in this uh, this laptop I'm calling as client guys. Okay, let's say in this uh, client uh, laptop uh, You opened a browser in the in the browser you entered a URL Okay in the Chrome browser or whatever the browser you opened you entered one URL guys. Okay, let's say www dot uh, qfox.com you hit you entered that and you hit the enter key the moment you hit the enter key what happens is the developed code for this qfox.com is not available here guys okay somewhere remote in remote server okay it's hosted somewhere in singapore or somewhere okay yes. server machine is there okay in some some remote place like uh, i'm in india now okay from india in my laptop i'm accessing this okay this is in india like let's say in singapore or some place the server is there okay the server is there and when i hit this url guys what happens is a request is being to send to the server okay a request is being sent to this server where the 
code for this qfox.com is hosted okay on this particular server the code the developed code for this qfox.com is available in this server machine so the moment a request is being sent to the server how the request is traveling from your laptop to that particular remote server in singapore how this request is traveling via internet guys okay via internet that is over http protocol okay this request is being sent this http request is being sent the details of this url that you have hit and the respective code in the server is being processed for this application and after running the code the server will give you a response guys okay that response will come back to the same browser in your machine and how the response will come the response also will travel over the same internet http guys okay response will come like this okay so this response will contain the okay this when you hit this url guys the response will contain the HTML code, guys. Okay, HTML code, JavaScript code, etc. Okay, JavaScript code, etc. Will contain the front end code will come back in the form of response, and the browser can understand this HTML code and JavaScript uh, code that is being sent by the server over the response. The browser can understand, it can browse and it can display the application in the uh, respectively that according to the HTML code and according to the JavaScript code, the browser can display the application for you on your machine. This is what is happening in the background, guys. Okay. That's how the web applications work. So what exactly are the web applications? The applications that run on the browsers are nothing but the web applications. And these browsers send the request to the server, which is remote, some remote uh, place having the your application code. And that application uh, code running server will send you a response. Based on the response, the applic this, the, this browser will display the result for you in the form of response. Okay. So here uh, I can show you that also, guys. For example, here, uh, let's say, I'll do one thing, guys. I'll, I'll take you to one sample application like tutorialsinja.com slash demo. Now, guys, uh, what I will do here without entering the credentials, I'll click on the login button, guys. Okay. So before clicking the login button, I'll inspect this. I'll inspect this login button and uh, I'll go to this uh, network tab. Okay. So there is nothing here at this moment in the network tab. The moment I click on the login button, a request is being sent to the server, guys. Okay. A request has sent sent to the server and uh, this is a request that has been sent to the server. You see http colon double slash tutorialsinja.com slash demo index.php root account uh, forward slash login this was the request that has been sent to the server over http protocol over internet okay when the server receives this particular request it will process the respective application code of this particular application and then sends a response back you see response it is sent 200 okay came the response is okay and what what do we got in the response guys in the response we got this html code guys okay as you can see for that particular request, the server has sent this particular response in the form of HTML code. You see, this is HTML code, guys. Okay. Whatever you are seeing here is nothing but the HTML code has been sent back. And that HTML code is displayed on this page, guys. And uh, that particular HTML code has this warning message and all. Okay. We can see that. So, is there any warning anywhere? Let's try to find it out. I'll, I'll search for this text, guys, somewhere here in this HTML code. Control F, Control V. You see, in the the response code that has been sent by the server to our client machine you see the warning exact warning message has been sent back that warning message the browser is displaying for you okay when you don't give credentials and click on login you are getting this warning message in the response okay the warning message has been sent to you by the server guys okay that's that server sent uh, warning message is be displayed by the rent is uh, being understood and displayed by the browser for you on your client machine so this is what happens in the background guys i don't want to dig more deep this much is enough for you how the web applications work and uh, okay what exactly are the web applications you got some idea now so here client server communications will happen for web applications over http protocol unlike desktop applications in desktop applications the thing is different guys okay in case of desktop applications the developed code will be when you install a software guys when you install a particular uh, desktop application software in your machine the developed code also will be there part of the software itself okay you don't have to you, for each and everything you don't have to communicate with the server guys okay the desktop software will have the software okay it, it will work without uh, the code is there in your machine indirectly okay the code is there in your machine for example if you take any uh, microsoft word or this oracle virtual box or whatever the software you take the code is actually running in your machine only you are not collecting it over internet or something but web applications work differently guys okay web applications work differently the communications will ho happen over uh, internet protocol http protocol and the code act actual code of the application is not in our machine it's there on the server somewhere hosted on the machine so where is the uh, application code of this qfox hosted on some remote server guys uh, that is sideground server okay i hosted this uh, 
my code of qfox.com in the side ground space okay so like that fine guys so this is all about the web applications guys okay the code of this particular uh, qfox.com is not available in my machine the code is available in the server that is hosted in i just took a paid plan on this web hosting service from site ground so some plan is there okay so with that plan i i am i am taking a sharing hosting plan uh, like a single server is shared with, between different applications and in one of the server one of, one of the for one, uh, one of the application is mine guys okay so you see i'm just paying some amount for that to happen okay this kind of uh, this kind of uh, amount i am paying monthly to get this particular application running fine so fine guys uh, this is all the, all the information that i want to provide as part of this interview question that is software testing interview question that is web applications okay what are web applications so hope guys you like the answer for this question whatever i answered in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you Till then, see you. Bye.